The following video shows uh, two examples of solving basic quadratic functions. Um, in this first one, you've got x squared plus 100 equals 0. Um, and if there is no x term, then we try to get the x squared by itself. So to do this, we're going to subtract 100 from both sides. We want the x squared by itself because, if you remember, the square root of x squared is x. And when we're looking to solve for x, we want x equals something. So we take the square root of both sides. The square root of x squared equals x. And then we have the square root of negative 100. Well, um, the problem is we don't know what to do with that negative 100. And, and the reason why is because 10 squared equals a positive 100. Well, the negative 10 squared equals a positive 100. And what ends up turning out to be the case is you can't take the square root of a negative number. Now, there is something called imaginary numbers that you'll learn uh, later on in, in some higher level math courses. But for, at this point, the answer is no solution. There is no integer answer or even any number at all that can be squared and give you 100. So then we're going to go solve the other one. So again, you've got to solve for the x squared. So we got 4x squared minus 100 equals negative 36. So we solve this like a regular equation as if we're solving for x. So we add 100. That gives us 4x squared equals 64. Now we need to get the x squared by itself, so we divide both sides by 64. I mean by 4. So 64 divided by 4 equals 16. So you end up with uh, x squared equals 16. We take the square root of both sides. We get x equals. And remember, whenever we take the square root, we uh, have to take the positive and the negative because plus 4 squared equals 16, and so does negative 4 squared. So the answer is plus or minus 4.